Hey guys, this is Shirish and you're watching Bonsai and Gardening Zone. Isn't it surprising to see such huge guavas in just three feet of plant? Guys, this is Thailand guava. The specialty of Thai guava is that grafted plants start fruiting within one year and produce giant guavas like this if proper care is taken. Commercial growers even grows around one kg of each fruit with same variety. It has apple green skin and white flesh with pale yellow seeds and tend to be drier than the pink or other types of guavas. Thai guavas are only mildly sweet and have very little fragrance and does not taste as delicious as pink or other similar varieties. It has crunchy, thick flesh and very less seeds. Guys, this is a grafted plant and I purchased it for rupees 200 from a local nursery before one year. And I am growing it on my terrace in a 16 inch high and 10 inch wide plastic container. After one year or so, when plant will get bigger and root bound, I'll transplant it in a bigger container. It produces fruits round the ear. As you can see, it is bearing mature fruits and very small to medium fruits at the same time. Each of these ripe fruit weights around 400 gram. Though it is recommended to remove all the flowers and prune lower branches in very first year so that plant can focus its energy in growing bigger and bigger. When the tree will be 2 year plus, it will produce bigger fruits than this. Guava plants thrives in any soil with good drainage and full sun for the best flowering and fruit production. However, if you want to grow it in a pot, it needs fertile, well-drained and crumbly soil. Guava loves moist soil. To prepare potting soil, you need 50% garden soil, 20% cocoa peat, 20% cow dung compost or vermicompost, 10% sand. Once your sapling gets settled in a small pot, it is important to plant guava in biggest possible pot as its root spreads a lot and needs more soil to thrive. Fertilize guavas every one to two months while young and then three to four times per year as the tree matures. Guava trees needs a high amount of nitrogen, phosphoric acid and potash along with some magnesium for maximum fruit production. However, you can go for 100% organic also by adding cow dung compost or vermicompost in the same interval. If growing in containers, fertilize every month. Growing guava from seeds may not produce a fruiting tree for up to 3 to 5 years and the plants are not true to the parent. Therefore, cutting, grafting and layering are more often used as a propagation method for guava fruit tree. I have one more big six year old guava tree in my garden also, which also produces fruits year round. However, peak harvesting period in India is August to December and the taste of fruit is best in this season. This variety is called as Allahabad Safeda. This is most famous variety grown in India. Tree is medium in height, about five meters with vigorous branching and dense foliage. It has white flowers and as you can see the honey bee is pollinating this flower and pollinated flowers will become fruits. This tree produces fruits which are medium in size, round in shape with few seeds and white flesh. As compared to Thai guava fruits, these fruits mature very quickly. Guava tree is hardy but fruit fly is one of the most damaging pests for guavas. Fruit fly lay its eggs into the skin of soft guava and soon the larvae tunnel into the fruit, making it inedible. To avoid fruit fly damage, fruit must be picked prior to full maturity. You may also cover fruit with transparent poly bag with tiny holes in it when it is immature. This method can also be used with other fruits and vegetables to avoid fruit fly attack. You may start neem oil spray. 3 ml per liter of water once a week on small fruits. 
it will keep fruit fly and other pests away thailand guava is a tropical or subtropical tree it loves sunny places and needs full sun at least 6 hours a day it cannot tolerate chilling harsh winter young guava trees that experience temperature below 30 degree fahrenheit may be damaged or cold die so guys just follow these easy tips and with proper care you can also grow these amazing fruits in your garden or terrace well guys that's all for now hope you find this video helpful please like share and comment on this video in comment section consider subscribing this channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications of new videos thanks for watching and keep on gardening